The main purpose of the Hellenic Center for Marine Research is the promotion of marine and freshwater research, basic and applied marine research, and the provision of services and technical support to individuals and organizations on environmental issues, as well as on matters of oceanography, fishery, aquaculture, and inland waters. The Hellenic Center for Marine Research comprises five institutes. The Institute of Marine Biological Resources, of which the main activities are fishery research concerning the study and management of marine living resources, the location of new fishing grounds and the study of the effect of various fishing gears on fish populations. The Institute of Inland Waters deals with environmental research which focuses on the inland aquatic resources, on the protection and restoration of biotopes, habitants and endangered species, as well as on the development and implementation of measures to achieve environmental monitoring. The Institute of Aquaculture, the main activities of which are Aquaculture research concerning control reproduction, rearing, feeding and pathology of aquatic species of commercial interest, conduction of original research, development and transfer of technology and know-how, and training human resources in the field of aquaculture. The Institute of Marine Biology and Genetics has as its main scientific objective the research of the diversity of marine life at all levels of biological organization and thereof on the interaction of marine life with the aquatic environment. Finally, the main areas of activity of the Institute of Oceanography are basic open sea oceanographic research which involves systematic collection, description, classification and development of data concerning the Greek seas as well as the entire Eastern Mediterranean. The Poseidon Monitoring, Forecasting and Data Collection System is based on a network of 11 observation buoys in the Aegean Sea which collect and transmit every three hours online meteorological and oceanographic data used for making 72-hour forecasts. The ASEM project consists in developing a new European marine research activity which is the construction of a benthic laboratory in order to measure and monitor a set of geotechnical and chemical parameters distributed on a seabed area in order to better understand the slope instabilities phenomena to assess and possibly anticipate the associated risks. The 62-meter RV Aegeo was refitted in 1997 and now comprises a completely modern floating laboratory. The RV Philia, which was built in Piraeus in 1985, operates from her home port of Heraklion, Crete, not only Cretan waters, but also throughout the Aegean and Ionian seas. The remote operated submarine vehicles are particularly useful for research, photography and cinematography, up to a depth of 2,000 meters. The manned submersible Thetis has been constructed to very high technical specifications and has great potential for a wide range of scientific activities. The ancient shipwreck Kithnos I was discovered during the joint research cruise of the Hellenic Center for Marine Research in collaboration with the effort for underwater antiquities of the Ministry of Culture. The Theti submersible dived to the site of the shipwreck at 500 meters depth and discovered ancient amphorae partly covered by silt. One amphora of Chios type, one of Samos type and two metric amphorae were collected by Thetis and recovered on the afterdeck of a Geo vessel. According to the type and the shape of the recovered amphorae, the age of the ancient shipwreck was estimated to the 4th century BC. 
This wreck is the deepest one discovered in the Aegean Sea and among the deepest ones in the Mediterranean Sea. The Persian Warship Wreck Survey is a joint project of the Canadian Archaeological Institute of Athens, the Greek effort of underwater antiquities and the Hellenic Center for Marine Research. The project aims to locate, map and record shipwrecks, their cargoes and related artifacts in areas where historical sources indicate that large fleets sank due to weather or battles during the Persian War. The first of these fleets, sent by Darius, sank in a storm off mountain Athos in 492 BC. Serving the area with the Achilles, the ROV first located a half-buried amphora and then nearby it, a jar, at a depth of 97 meters. The latter was the lair of an octopus that had collected a variety of detritus, including a bronze object. When raised to the surface, this artifact proved to be a spare butt spike with remains of the wooden shaft still contained within its socket. The Thalassocosmos Aquarium, based at Wurnes, Iraklion, Crete, is a big project financed by EFTA and the Greek government. This aquarium covers an area of about 3,500 square meters and it is the largest in the eastern Mediterranean. As Greeks, Europeans and citizens of the world, and as people deeply conscious of belonging to a nation with a long-living history, we project our future in the new millennium on the wide horizons of the sea. We are confident that we can do it.